Hi guys, it's Natalie. I'm going to do a little tutorial for you. I've gotten a lot of questions about how to do outfits for the contest and I really enjoy doing them and I want everyone to be able to do them. So I'm going to basically show you what steps to take and what program to use. This is PaintShop Pro. I've used this program for a long time. I love it. I'm comfortable with it. It's actually the eighth version. I think they're up to 12 now, but um, I'm comfortable with this one. I'm used to it, and I'm sure the 12 or 10 or 11 or 12, whatever one's out now, is probably better. But I'm sure it has the same setup. You can get the program off their website, and I'll post the link for you guys. Um, I'm, I'm choosing this over Photoshop because even though I love Photoshop, it can be very overwhelming if you're a beginner and it can do a lot more but sometimes the steps are a little more difficult and we're not editing photos or making elaborate graphics so we're gonna be using this one okay so the first thing you want to do is open up the sorority life chick where is she there she is okay I save this as a PSP file. I do this because even though when you downloaded her she was a PNG file, save it again as a PSP image because this way you can always go back and rework it. It'll re keep all your layers intact and it won't ever flatten the image so that you can always go back. Because maybe you want to get feedback on it and then change something. Always save it as um, a paint shop pro image and then again as either a JPEG or a PNG so that you can show it on the website but always have this version as well so that you can always go back and rework it as you want to okay so now that we have her open we're gonna go over here and these are our layers now layers are very important when making this because when you make the outfit if you do not have a new layer the image will have the dress drawn ex right on top of her and you won't be able to submit it into the contest so first thing you want to do is go to new raster layer and these are the default settings so they should be just like this and these eyeballs here you can either view view the layer or hide it so if I were to do that she'd be gone and this is the new layer and this changes the opacity but we'll deal with that later on now as you go and you're making different um, different parts of the outfit, say you're doing shoes or hair or you're doing ruffles or buttons, you want to do each of those on a different layer so that if you mess up on something you can always go back and change it and so by the time you're done you might have five or ten layers when you're done. So, Okay, the first thing you want to do is actually the first thing you do not want to do is this you don't want to go online find a dress copy it and paste it on I'm saying this because well for several reasons one it's really hard to get the pasted dress to look exactly the way you want it to it ends up looking kind of deformed and it's really hard to get it exactly the way you want it and to fit the shape of her body. Also, people can tell usually that that's what you did and they don't like it as much as the hand-drawn stuff and I don't think that they win the contest to be honest. I haven't seen any win. Um, I think I think they're looking for hand-drawn outfits so that's what we're gonna do. N nothing against people who do this. It's fun. It's a good way to you know do stuff to see how stuff looks but I would advise doing that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get familiar with our pen tool and this is right down here. Click on that. Now this tool can be very tricky and it takes a long time to get used to it but it gives you the best results. It gives you really smooth curves, there's no jagged edges and it doesn't look like it's been painted on. Now the mode is going to be the drawing mode and over here is the width and this is when the transparency comes into play. The width here is determined by this color 
And so if you want to do just a line, you would have this part transparent, and this would change the width of your line. So basically like this. that makes different lines. If I were to fill this in, it would fill it in just like that. Now when drawing a dress, I use a width of zero, which makes this part zero. So if you wanted, you could have that transparent. It doesn't really matter because it's at zero. You zoom in, which makes it a lot easier. And you can do that by, if you have a mouse that has one of those rollers on it, just like you would scroll on a website that zooms in and out. And you trace her body, you, you make a start point, and then you kind of visualize a curve and you make your end point. And you hold it, the, the button down and you can drag it so that it makes a curve. You do that and it should make this nice curve and fill it in and then you can go to select none and it'll have that on there. Once you get good, well get good, once you learn the tool you can go to node type line after and just sort of trace her body like that and it'll fill her in and once you do that it'll look like this. Now, I added a little shading and I'll show you how to do that. You go over here to your light and darken and this up here you can play with endlessly. I usually make it a pretty good size so that I cover a large area. I keep the hardness low because you don't want any harsh lines because that isn't what light looks like. So, And I keep the opacity somewhere in, over in this range because I can always go back over it instead of having it too dark too quickly. Now if you click on the mouse it'll lighten it. I don't know if you can see that. Here, I'll, like that. And if you right click it'll darken it. Like that. So obviously that's not what it looks like. You want to do the edges like this. So kind of make it look 3D. And once you do that, it should look somewhat like this. Now this is a very simple dress. And I'll show you how to do different textures and other patterns and ruffles and all that in the next video. There's going to be more than one of these. So basically that's how you get the basic design and shape down. In maybe the third video, I'll show you how to kind of speed up this process and some shortcuts you can take. So the next video will be patterns and glitter, which I know a lot of you have asked about. So stay tuned.